G'day, Ben here from Pumped on Property. Now, today I'm standing in my latest project. Looks like a bit of a shanty town at the moment, as you'll see as we walk through this place over the course of the video. But um, what I've done is I've patiently waited until this particular time of the market, got myself set up over the last few years to take advantage of this buying year, 2020. And I bought myself a nice big, almost 600 square meter block with a nice big frontage. Plan is to rip this little two bedroom shack down and build a beautiful double story, four bedroom home um, with a really nice two bedroom granny flat next to it to create dual incomes. So what I absolutely love about this place is I'm not making the same dumbass mistakes that I made, I think, fingers crossed in the past. So I'm following my own rules and that means I'm ticking the timing box, buying in a recession right now, I'm ticking the um, timing of the Brisbane market. Obviously, it's cheaper to buy here than it was 12 years ago. I'm ticking the capital growth box. Um, I'm about one to one and a half kilometers from the beach here. I've got the nice big block of land with the nice big frontage. Um, I'm also buying in a quality pocket of the suburb close to the beach, close to the CBD, train stations just down the road, two schools walking distance from here as well. Um, I'm ticking the cash flow box. Um, not so much at the moment with my life's nice little shanty town, but once I knock it over and I've got the four bedroom home with the two bedroom granny flat, I should be able to get about $800 a week of rent at least if I do it right. Um, I'm also ticking the um, tax benefit box. So once I build like a $350,000 house and granny flat on this property, I should be able to get myself about another $13,000 a year in tax benefits, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm ticking the quality, low maintenance, active up front, because obviously I've got to knock down this place, I've got to rebuild, um, but it'll be very, very passive once it's done. Um, it'll sit there, it'll give me an income, and then I've just got to figure out a way to pay it off over the next 30 years to get that income for life, which um, I'll worry about that next year after this is all sorted out. So feeling really excited about it. Um, I'll give you a bit of a walk around now, and then I'll talk to it a bit more in a moment. <laughs> for this property is pretty simple. It's obviously to knock down what I've just shown you, which is in pretty average condition. In fact, it's probably the worst condition home that I've ever walked through in the five years of doing this business. So my wife and I were sitting down this morning and our plan is basically to build a really nice double story, four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage home. Um, that's gonna be on this side of the block. And our plan is basically you open up the front door, you've got a huge living, kitchen, dining room opening onto an alf a large alfresco onto a nice big backyard. And that's gonna be the downstairs, just a huge open living area. And then upstairs, we're gonna have the four bedrooms with a separate second living area. The reason I'm going double story versus single story is in the current market, the double story homes are renting for at least an extra 50 bucks a week. They're also valuing at about an extra $100,000. So rather than just building a single story home, which would be cheaper to do, I'm going double for the future of what I see this area becoming. The upgrades that we decided on this morning is we're gonna make all of the bedrooms at least 3.3 by 3.3 meters wide. We're gonna make the master bedrooms 4.5 by 4.5 meters wide. We're gonna increase the ceiling heights downstairs. We're gonna put nice tiling downstairs as well as out onto the alfresco. We're gonna do semi frameless shower screens as an upgrade as well as well as a nicer facade. So um, with the last few homes I've built, I've actually done them like cladded or cement sheeting, which means you have to paint them. Um, 
I've sort of learnt my lesson that I'm going to have to repaint those homes every 10 years. So for this one, I'm going to do like a really nice Queenslander style facade with just brick sides and a Queensland style facade on the back. Again, so it saves me sort of $3,000 every 10 years on painting the outside of the home. Um, we're going to make it look really, really trendy, either all beautiful white, white roof, white gutters, white everything, like white facade, white windows, or alternatively white roof um, with like a beautiful monument grey, dark grey colour as the outside of the property with some like light grey bricks. So it's going to look absolutely pimp, um, that's without a doubt. In terms of the kitchen, the only thing we're going to upgrade is a butler's pantry, which we think will be super important. Um, again, we're going to make it really, really fresh. Um, that's all of my wife's stuff, like I don't know how it's going to come together. Um, all I know is that I've got a budget of $350,000 to build the four bedroom home. Um, and then on the other side of the property, um, just next to it, separated by a firewall, we're going to have a two bedroom, um, one bathroom, one car garage granny flat. Um, I should hope if I do that really nicely to get somewhere between $310 and $325 a week for that. Um, again, that'll be just two bedrooms, a nice open living kitchen area onto a nice alfresco with a small backyard. Um, and for the front home, I hope to be able to get at least $500 a week if I do it really well. Um, maybe even $520 if I really, really make it super nice. So total return on investment will be um, 6 point something percent. Not sure yet. Um, depends how much I can keep my wife um, on budget and on course for what we're trying to do here because she can easily easily get carried away um because it's such a nice wide frontage and such a deep block um i didn't realize until i came down and looked at it because i sort of bought this place completely sight unseen um met the builder here this morning um i should be able to position the, the home as close to the front of the property as possible and then have a nice big backyard for the four bedroom home out here as well so that hopefully a family comes and rents it from me um, stoked with how it's going to look. Um, in terms of timeframes, which is a question I get asked all the time, it's going to take about a month from today to settle it, maybe two months. Um, it's going to take about a month to get the design right, the price right with the builder and all of the finishes and fixtures selected. Um, and then it should take um, at least two, if not four weeks to get it knocked down. Um, another couple of weeks to get the council approvals as well as all the certifications. And then the build at the moment should take somewhere between about 14 and 16 weeks. So if I can finish this before um, Christmas time this year, that would be amazing. For some reason, I have a tendency to buy it this time of the year every year and then, you know, cost myself rental return at Christmas time because I'm renting in like December when no one's looking to move out. But um, if I can get it done by October or November, even better to get the most rent return. Obviously, by that time, we'll know where the economy's at and things will be starting to shoot in the right direction. So I'm stoked with this. Um, it's what I've been wanting to do for a couple of years. Um, the reason for this decision, now there always needs to be a reason for buying stuff, not just buying stuff for fun, is I'm about $70,000 a year short on the income goal at the moment that I have for my financial future. So I need two more houses with two more granny flats, renting for about 35 grand a year each. And that will plug that $70,000 hole that I have. After I get these other two properties sorted out, that gives me the total number of properties with the total number of rent that I want per week. Um, and then I've got to figure out a way to, to pay all this stuff off over time, which obviously is going to take a while. But this is my project. Hope you've enjoyed it. Can't wait to show you some more.